So this is a question that doesn't get addressed enough, okay? Genetically modified organisms versus artificially selected organisms, okay? Because this is an argument that a lot of pro-GMO people will use and say, hey, we've been artificially selecting, we've been genetically modifying our food for, you know, since essentially the beginning of modern agriculture in 10,000 BC. Um, this is a bit of a misnomer and honestly, in my opinion, somewhat intellectually dishonest to say this. We've certainly been artificially selecting for different foods. We, you know, can breed foods to uh, have a bigger crop yield, to uh, be larger fruits, to be sweeter fruits, to, um, you know, any, you know, certain shapes or colors or whatever we wanted, we could selectively breed for these things. We could, okay? Genetically modifying is, is totally different, okay? It's a big step up from that. Now we're genetically modifying these foods to be resistant to large doses of highly toxic pesticides, most notably Roundup, the active ingredient glyphosate, where the Monsanto Corporation, who you know, created a lot of these GMO foods and sells the, G the uh, Roundup uh, pesticide, they were sued and lost in court, lost a $289 million lawsuit for showing that uh, the Roundup, this um, herbicide that's sprayed on all these GMO crops, caused this man's cancer, okay? And what was interesting was they paid him $39 million for the cancer and $250 million because they basically showed that Monsanto knew that it was causing cancer and systematically covered it up. So artificial selection, very benign. You know, we're not artificially selecting things so we can spray loads and loads of toxic pesticides on them. We're just artificially selecting for a bunch of other qualities that are, you know, by and large, uh, rather benign as opposed to, uh, you know, a definite carcinogen being sprayed on them. So, and of course, then people will say, oh, well, you know, genetically modified modifications used for other things like golden rice. Golden rice was going to it was gonna have more vitamin A, and it was gonna save all these people from getting blindness in, in Asia. If we just had golden rice, you know, GMOs are good. And so it's like, okay, number one, you know, <laughs> there's a lot more problems going on than people not being able to get enough vitamin A from rice, okay? And so there's other problems in their diet if they can't get enough vitamin A. It's not that difficult of a vitamin to get enough of, okay? Uh, especially in modern times, all right? And so second is, Golden rice never made it on the market, okay? Golden rice, commercial failure, never made it on the market. There is no golden rice out in production, okay? Hate to break it to you, but it's funny when, um, you know, huh, one product was created to, you know, feed and help the poor people, and then another product was created to uh, allow them to basically sell and spray way more of this um, toxic pesticide on everything, and that one somehow got into mass production, <laughs> And yet somehow this one that was, you know, this altruistic golden rice is going to save people from blindness. Uh, never made it to the market. It's funny how that works, you know, with capitalism. Sorry, I got cut off there. Anyway, you can see that there's quite a big difference from just traditional artificial selection that's been going on for 12,000 years versus actual genetic modification. So I don't think we can look at any one, uh, you cast a wide net over all GMOs, but the ones that are commercially on the market are the ones that essentially create or are sprayed with a very high dose of toxic pesticides, okay? So <laughs> when they create a, a genetically modified organism that actually um, doesn't have anything to do with increased pesticide load, and we actually have it on the market, then talk to me about how it's you know safe and effective. But for now, um, you know, the writing's on the wall that uh, Monsanto's already been sued for $289 million. You can watch my movie about that. Roundup is definitely toxic in all these crops that have been genetically modified to withstand large amounts of Roundup are, are definitely toxic. So if you know GMO seeds got in the organic food supply and we weren't actually spraying them with high doses of pesticides and it wasn't causing the plants to produce high doses of pesticides on their own, I wouldn't really have a problem with that, okay? Um, it's really about the, the, the pesticides and the toxicity more so than it is the actual genetic modification, all right? But the genetic modification allows for the increased toxicity if we so choose to do that, which I don't think is a good idea. Anyway, hope that explains it, you guys. Uh, if you have any questions about GMOs, leave a comment down below. I got probably one more video coming out on this topic, and uh, catch you guys later.